but again, as I said, I don't think Arian is a rising star. I think he is a star that star is already born up into the sky, shining bright, bright, bright. <laughs> Hey Trackies, welcome back to yet another video here on TXT Track Time. Guess what Trackies, our juniors are doing amazing things on the world scene and of course they're getting the recognition rightly deserved from it. So today we're taking the rising stars for the boys. Yes, and of course you don't know so we have a Jamaican in it. If there was no Jamaican, we wouldn't be talking about it still. So you don't know how the thing go, right? Anyway, Tom, take it away. Tell us who is on this rising star list. And of course, our Jamaican. And then we can see, you know, how we can talk up the things them. Why him to win? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the World Athletics released their nominees for the 20, for the 2022 Men's Rising Star Award. Yeah. It's just a few. So we have in alphabetical order. Anthony Amirati from France. He's the world under 20 pole vault champion, world's sixth best under 20 performances of the year. So I guess his sixth best under 20 performances were his and the French championships bronze medalist. Interesting. Then we have Jamaica's Jaden Hibbert. Yay! World under 20 triple jump champion, world's six best under 20 performances of the year, and the Jamaican triple jump champion. Go, Jaden. Next on our list, we have Arian Knighton, United States, world championships wow. 200 meters bronze medalist, <laughs> Brussels Diamond League winner, world under 20 200 meters record. Then we have Let's Seal Tobago from Botswana, world under 20, 100-meter 100 champion, world under 20, 200-meter silver medalist, and world under 20, 100-meter record. And rounding up our list, we have from Kenya, Emmanuel Wanyoni, world championships 800 meters fourth place, Rabat Diamond League winner and world's fastest under 20 world's fastest under 20 time in the 800 meters. So track is that runs up our list. We have a few big hitters on this list. See what are your initial opinions? All right, first and foremost, for, for my comfort, I'm gonna go with you know the thought that I, I, I had in the first video with Karika Hill. I'm just going to go with that because straight off the bat, I'm looking at Emmanuel, Emmanuel and I'm thinking, whilst he didn't win a championship, at the other, end of the day, he was performing, um, you know, above he, what an under-20 athlete does on the world scene, you know, against seniors. So I'm just going to use that standard at, to rank these athletes, in my opinion, right? Now, with that said, my first thought process is, why is Arian Knight still on this list? Now, did he win last year? He won last year, but I'm saying, is he still considered a rising star athlete at this point? I don't know. He's like a well-established. No, don't get me wrong. This this guy is super, and I'm just trying to figure out if this is still considered rising star. <laughs> right? No. Shouldn't he be on the seniors list or something, I or he wouldn't know. have made it? I'm trying to think back. I didn't, I didn't have the time to check it, but I was trying to think back if Mondo and Sydney were on it year after year after year because I'm thinking once they entered the list, whatever year they entered it, they would have continued straight through to, I don't know, they dropped out of under 20, you know? So I'm wondering if they, they were on it multiple times as well and, you know, won it multiple times. If that's the case, then in my opinion, you know, this is Arian's uh, title yet again. Um, but again, in my opinion, Arian is a well-established athlete. He is no longer, in my opinion, a rising star. He's already made it. He okay. is a star. I, 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 I understand what you're saying. Um, but before we speak about Jaden um, Hibbert um, from Jamaica and what his chances are on this uh, big hitting list, let's look at Let's Seal Tobago. Are you saying that Arian Knight just takes him out Clean. Yeah, completely. There's no way. 
Completely, because, okay, there's a, all right. Whilst he won in the 100 meters for the under 20, there's no absolute, record. There, okay, there's absolutely no comparison to to Aria Knighton's 200 meter um, record and also winning a bronze medal at the World Championships. There is absolutely no comparison. Um, I disagree. I believe that there is some level of comparison. So he won the world under 20 100 meter championship. So that's one world, um, you know, one world, one world, a quality world medal. Then he goes on to do that in world record breaking time. So then we have a world record in the bag as well, a world under 20 record. And of course, he wraps things up with a silver medal in the 200 meters. On Arian's side, we have his 200 meter um, bronze at the senior championships. Granted, had he gone to the junior championships, that would have been a uh, 200 meter gold. So if we break it down like that, he both of them are pretty much even Steven. I mean, he's missing an no, 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 because there's still there's still quality in the performances. Let me tell you why I'm saying what I'm saying. Look at the record, look at the times, then you can see there is a fundamental difference with what. Uh, Arian did versus what Tebogo did. And let's not forget, Tebogo also went to the world championships to try his hand to see, you know, where would that take him? And of course, he stopped short in the second round. As it relates to Arian, he's in a whole different class. He didn't just go to the first round, the second round. He went to the final and walked away with a medal against the seniors. I don't care what color it is. The mere fact that he got a medal outshines any gold you get in any under-20 lead. Okay, but a world record by um, Tebogo is still a world record and... And Arian has a world record as well. Okay, so so I think that the big two on this list are Let's Sail, Tobogo, and Area 9. But since we have Jaden Hibbert on the list and his awesome world under 20 triple jump um, performance, and not, not even that, he was so consistent this year, like um, this year, yes, this um, athletic year, jumping consistently uh, almost with each jump. Uh, formerly of Kingston College, now off to join the Arkansas Razorbacks. What do you think? Where do you see Jaden Hibbert? And what right, do you so think? This is what I was general? saying originally for my comfort. I'm going to go with the standard that I, I set in my mind, what Rising Star means. And this is now where I'm going to disagree with you and actually rank Jaden even ahead of, you know, let's see, Lee, why? When I look at their times or their distances, Jaden still ranks the best out of everybody else. So when I look at it overall, like where does Let's See his time fall in the senior ranks, right? Where does Jaden's um, distance fall in the senior ranks? Jaden's um, distance is still better than everybody else's, less Arian. So Arian is the only person that, because Arian's time is second in the world um, behind Noah Lyles. Right. So Aaron is the only um, for me real big factor in this. But again, as I said, I don't think Aaron is a rising star. I think he is a star. That star is already born up into the sky, shining bright, bright, bright. So I don't even know why he's on a rising star list. But, you know, you know, that's how I look at it. Um, but for me, for Jaden, for sure. If Aaron was not a part of the list. OK, well track is even so how do we vote let me see if i can find that information to see if there is still time to go out and select how do they even choose these persons let's see if they mention anything okay uh all right is delighted to announce five nominees i don't think are, i don't uh, think the nominations the are correct. i don't think it's a the winner of the 2022 uh, Men's Rising Star Award will be selected by an international panel of experts and will be announced on the World Athletic Social yeah. Media Platforms in early December. Okay, so 
we can't move the voting, the selection by actually going out and voting on the socials. But of course, Jamaica is a praying country, so we can pray. So let's do that. Let's pray that the experts on this panel see the merits in T's argument that Jaden should be the winner of this, this award. I mean, come on. Arian is <laughs> undoubtedly the best athlete on this list because he's already stepped mm -hmm. up to winning a senior level as a, a senior medal as a junior, right? So there's no uh, two ways about that, right? Which is why I'm saying I'm not really sure why he's still a part of the list because, you know, he's already made it kind of thing. <laughs> Um, but, but separate and apart from that, Jaden for me definitely comes in second on the list because again, you know, times, um, and distances matter in the senior, in the senior ranks, whether these times and distances actually take you. And when I look at the overall listing of the, all of the rest of the athletes, where their times put them amongst the seniors, Jaden ranks higher than everybody else, um, on the list. So for sure, I'm going to go with Jaden if Arian wasn't on it. Or let's just ignore Arian and pretend he's not there. I, I think it's a three-way um, tie between Arian Knight and Jaden Hibbert and let's see it to, to, be, to Bogo. I mean, let's see he has two medals. Let, let me put it this way. You see, if let's see he probably won that 200 meters with all the hype he was hyping up and going on crazy, then... <laughs> Then maybe, but I mean, I don't think there's no doubting, there's no doubting Jaden's class at all. It's still left to be seen if if Tebow was times were translating the senior ranks. For sure, that jump that Jaden did translates in the senior ranks. You know what I mean? It's gonna be um, tighter in the 100. Even for the pole vault, even for the pole vault, French French guy, right? He he jumped 581 as an um you know under 20. That's like whoa, Mondo used to be jumping. So that is crazy as well. So when you look at how those jumps translate for me, or those distances are what's it a vault, right? How those vaults translate to me on the senior scene, to me, it's even still ranks higher in my mind than it, I let Sealy because I'm looking at it plausibly saying, you know, where does this actually put you, you know, on, on a senior level? And the, let's not forget, oh, my God, the Kenyan powerhouse over the 800 meters. He, granted, he didn't go to the, the under-20s. If he went, that would have been a sure gold, obviously, right? But the mere fact that he can go to the world championships and actually... So we are saying, you know, maybe Jaden would have finished fourth. We're saying maybe Let's see, would have finished fourth. But he actually finish fourth so that is you know that's everything coming you know full circle again happening immediately but again i still rank Jaden above everybody else except arian okay track is that wraps up another one thanks for sticking and staying with us and please remember smash that like button Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more quality athletic content. I'm Tam. And I'm T. We'll catch you in another one.